Well, I finally have the time to make a YouTube video. And I'm going to show you something that I bought for $7 at Factory Direct. That's what it was called. Went to the store called Factory Direct and they had something that was really cheap and I like it. Yes, I finally got one. A very cheap $7 D-Link wireless adapter. And I'm running Windows 2000. I'm not kidding you. Windows 2000 Professional with Firefox on it. Now, a lot of people kept telling me to go to Future Shop, Walmart, uh, Best Buy. Went to Walmart and they had a Linksys, or Linksys? I don't know how you pronounce it, but I call it Linksys. They had a Linksys wireless adapter compatible with Windows 2000 to Windows 7. And it was 75 bucks. I'm sure as hell not going to pay for something that expensive. I'm too cheap. Went to Best Buy. Ah, they had some for 90. Okay. Went to Future Shop. They had um, a couple cards for 50, but I wanted to go lower. So I decided to go to the new store that we have here in my little town called Factory Direct. I remember seeing one of these cards for seven bucks. So I had leftover Christmas shopping money that that I had since I'm already done. Um, I decided to buy a wireless card. I was almost about to buy. Um, I can't remember what kind of headphones they were, uh, but these were type of these headphones um, are pretty cool. When you put them on your head, when you play music, you can't hear anything in the background. So if someone slams the door, or if um, someone comes walking in, and like you won't be able to hear them because these are soundproof headphones. Like you can't hear anything around you when you put them on. But I realized I'm already happy with my original crappy dollar store headphones. So I decided to buy this. It comes in a little white box. With some paperwork. This is what it sits on. 30 day limited warranty. Why would I want to return it when it works? Comes with software. And this thing is compatible with Windows 2000 to Windows 7. Wow. I bought something very, very cheap. And there was something at Walmart that was really expensive. This thing can do the exact same thing as the one at Walmart can. I'm liking it. And besides, I wanted a card that could run on Windows 2000 anyway. So, we are on the internet. www. Oh wait, I don't need to type in that stuff. I have it right here. YouTube. Now, one of my um, friends on YouTube, his name is uh, Silver Persian, and he has an, an HP Vectra, which is a desktop computer. He got that for free, and he has it running Windows 2000, and it's running on the internet. He told me that he can play YouTube videos if he... Um, plays them in 240 240 uh, p I believe I can't remember my memory is like mashed potato I can't even remember anymore 
Okay, so here's my holiday fire video with music from VCAM Nawa. I'm going to play that. Hurry up, slow poke. I don't got all day. Okay, I just got to pause the video. Click this little button. It's called 240p. Just got to wait for everything to finish loading. It's an old computer, guys. You got to... Can't really blame it. Oh, I got to refresh the page again. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass when I have to do this. But... Oh well. I kind of want to use this thing for um, Facebooking or emails anyway. Not really much. So it's working. A little bit lagging, but can't really say to, uh, say to blame it. What the hell does this stuff have to do with a fireplace? Okay, how about my new video that I just uploaded? Yes, I also tested this thing out. Um, I want to see if it's true, if I can upload videos that um, uh, that are longer than 15 minutes. Well, it's true. I uploaded the Flintstones Christmas um, cartoon and it's a 24 minute video. I just did it for the hell of it, you know? I didn't care, I just wanted to find something that was under or that was higher than um, that was higher than 15 minutes. Mommy, your list, honey, and she'll see that I get it. I love you, Santa. So that seems to work fine. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, I can use this thing on the internet, no problem. Sorry, I haven't been making any YouTube videos, guys. Whoops. How come Hotmail is untrusted? Hmm. It's never happened before. Anyway, sorry I haven't been making any YouTube videos, guys. Um, a lot of busy things have been going on, and I've just been so tired lately. I've been staying up very, very late at night, and it's kind of um, weird. Like I just stay up so late, and I get up at four o'clock in the afternoon. So it kind of annoys me. Hmm. Okay, so now it's going to work. Now I can go to Hotmail. Something that Mozilla Firefox was not allowing me to do. Yeah, so that's kind of upsetting. No messages in the inbox. Well, now that I'm going to upload a video finally, hmm, I'm pretty sure this inbox is going to be full soon. So this wireless card works on Windows 2000. It can work on my ThinkPad now, thank God. I thought I wouldn't have any use for this, th uh, for that thing. 
log off administrator. I can take the card out. <clears throat> Stupid piece of shit, Toshiba. Made me lose all my videos. Now I gotta remake them. But oh well. It's worth it. Okay. Ah, yeah, little turkey. Get in there. I want my think light on. Don't mess with me and my think light. Yes, I'm very obsessed with the Ubuntu, star uh, Ubuntu startup sound. I just like it. Wow, I'm signed into two places. What do you know? Yeah, I've been busy working on a website. I decided to create my own website called VCAM Now's Computer Room. No duh. Very big article that I wrote about my compact Presario 2200 and how I got it and all the problems that it's had that I had to fix. The specs of the computer. It shows you what it did have and then the stuff that got upgraded. It even tells you the, uh, the dimensions. Yes, I took some measurements of it. This is my video. And one of my friends, laugh out loud, Z person OK, has the exact same computer as me. Finally, I'm not the only one on YouTube. So I'll post a copy of um, my webpage address and then I'll put it on, uh, or I'll, I'll put it in the description of this video. And you guys can check it out and tell me what should be added and what not. Now I'm going to show you his uh, uh, web page that he made. Just got to publish this first. So that way I don't lose any of the data on here. YouTube. Finally, this thing is running on the internet. I'm very happy. 377 emails that I've already replied to. Made a site, okay. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this ThinkPad is just, or well, two things, is the, the stupid track point. Because when you use it for a little while, um, and when you take your finger off it, the mouse kind of travels off a little bit like that. And the USB ports don't work. Oh well, typical. At least I have the infrared port on the side that I can use to transfer my data back and forth. Or I could use it or I could do it by email now. I don't think I can really send big files over the internet through uh, email. Okay, so this is Laugh Out Loud Z Personal Case channel. That's a picture of his compact Presario 2200. Looks like it's in perfect condition. Looks like it's never even been used. Mine, on the other hand, if you look at it, kind of looks like it has a little scratch right there. A little rust spot on the speaker. She's been through a little bit. Let's you know that the machine's been traveling and it's been around with me. Although I just love how clean this one is. It has no scratch marks on it whatsoever. No rust pieces on the speaker. Mine has a little rust mark right there. Oh, I shouldn't push on that. 
Oh well, I can push it whenever the hell I want to. It's my ThinkPad. So, yeah, mine had a little rust spot there. A little rust spot there. And there's a little chip in the button on mine. Let's take a look at it. Oh boy, I gotta get up again. <laughs> My foot's asleep. You kidding me? This is another flashlight that doesn't have batteries? Oh, flashlight with batteries. 10 o'clock. Yeah, so there's a... There's a scratch mark right there. There's a chip in the button. And on the side, I definitely can tell that there's some scratch marks. And there's the rust spot I was talking about. Yeah, it looks a little rusty. On this side, a little bit of rust and someone jammed plaster scene in my friggin' speaker. Bastards. Why the hell would they do that? I know I didn't jam plaster scene in there. Oh, whoever did, they're a dead person. <sighs> that pisses me off. My sticker's peeling off. That sucks too. Yeah, so it lets you know that this machine's been through a lot. And... Probably one of these days I might have to restore I don't know like probably go somewhere and see if they have the same matching color paint and just try to paint over the scratches or whatnot well this thing hasn't been running for a while well that all just happened oh there we go So yeah, that's basically it everybody. Um, I gotta make some more videos. I gotta get back in the mood again. You know, I gotta start making a lot of videos to keep entertaining you guys. So yeah, I will also uh, copy Laugh Out Loud Z Personal Case website. Uh, I'll copy the address and I'll put it in the video description along with my web, uh, website address. Well, talk to you guys later.